Welcome back. I'm Steve Rand. This is Eric Sapanek, and this is The Gold Spot. Eric, it's been a very busy week, obviously. We're seeing gold kind of moving to new highs this, this week again, and a lot of excitement out there, a lot of concerns about the dollar. But, uh, you know, what's going on on the technical side? Well, on the technical side, we have seen a new six-month high uh, with gold prices. Silver also following uh, very um, diligently behind that. So that's been nice. But really what we're trying to see is if we're going to hit and break the all-time high, which we're so close right now. But $2,085.40, if I remember correctly, that is the technical high. So right now, you're going to see the bulls right now that are pushing and trying to keep it above that um, level. And then if we do crack 2100, that's the magic number. That's definitely that resistance level that we haven't cracked before. And it will turn gold into um, a, a very big bull. And that's what uh, we're hoping to see. Now with the uh, bear side of things, uh, the bears right now, the short, the people that are shorting the market, really trying to push it below that 2000 mark. Um, so that is really what's going on with the technical levels right now. There's a lot going on between geopolitical, you know, tensions ease slightly because of a ceasefire. Um, that, that changed a little bit. The Fed, um, they're not quite as hawkish as they were. Um, the dollar, however, the index has dropped. So we've seen a lot go on this week. Some of it just doesn't even line up very well, as which after COVID, I mean, nothing really seems to line up perfectly anymore since then anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, Steve, I believe Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan Chase, had something interesting to say that you were going to share with us today. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the head of the biggest bank in the world. And, you know, it's pretty much been very kind of bullish on the economy over the last several years. But he just said some things that were kind of uh, really interesting to me. He said that basically the U.S. is on a sugar high right now of spending. And he said that consumers right now are looking at debt like it's and spending as if it's like heroin. And but he's still reminding people that there's a still a higher chance that rates could go up. These things that are out there are not going away and inflation is still here. And he's not saying it's going to end in a depression, but he left it very, very open to the to the idea that we have a lot of nasty things coming our way and could very easily turn in a direction like that. So we're not out of the woods yet by any stretch. Obviously, gold prices are not here because things are great and rosy. Again, the world is buying gold at the fastest pace in about 60 years. So that tells you right there that these numbers, you know, although they may seem high to some people, things can go a lot higher, just like every other market it certainly has in the past. And I, I, with his, with him saying what he said, I think goes back to also like what we've been talking about here on this show. Uh, you've got your consumer credit cards right now at an all time high, well over a trillion dollars in debt. That's household debt. And that is something that people, when they stop spending, that's what this this monster can just stop horrifically quickly, sure. and we and we don't want to see that obviously because that's what can lead you into hard recessions, possible depressions, that type of thing. But the other big thing right now too, I think, is all of the different the, the direction this country right now. We are overloading all of the systems that the government provide uh, with all the, you know, uh, unchecked immigration coming into the country right now. And these types of things are overwhelming the systems, especially like in New York, they were crying, you know, uncle when it came to things like that. Where is the rest of this money going to come from? And that right now, I think is something that people need to be keeping their eye on because I know a lot of people just don't want to watch the news anymore but it doesn't stop all the problems that are coming in and overwhelming our economic system right now. And people need to be prepared. So I'll let you finish it off for us. Yeah. Thanks for joining us once again. We're going to have a lot more things coming up in the next few weeks. It's going to be very important leading into the end of the year. We'll see you next time on The Gold Spot. If you enjoyed today's Gold Spot, like or subscribe to both our YouTube or our Rumble channels. Also, comment below if you have any questions or if you want to hear us talk about something specific in a future video.